Hey guys, what's up? So, there's a couple things that I want to talk to you guys about today. Um, I know from the title of this video, like, I'm sure that's what you guys are waiting for, but I want to talk to you guys about something first. Um, okay, I got a lot of comments on the last video that I had saying like, oh, your house is trash, your house is a mess, it's so easy to just throw it away. I want to explain to you guys, seeing as how um, this month is CRPS Awareness Month, and I want to let you guys know about my um, problem with CRPS. I, um, like it's, like honestly, I don't even know where to begin with this. Um, I got hurt at work a while ago. Um, I slit the back of my foot open, my, like right where the Achilles tendon is. Um, and like I, uh, like automatically knew that something wasn't right. Like I'd never broken a bone before or anything like that. Like anything serious, like I've had like, you know, minute, like, not like a broken leg or arm, not like anything like that, but I, I automatically knew something was wrong. Um, I ended up being diagnosed with the CRPS of the right foot. Um, now, CRPS is has no cure. Um, it's uh, It'll never go away. Um, like my cat knows when I start to get <laughs> stressed and like sad about it, she just came over. Um, she's actually an emotional support animal. Um, but, like, so here's the thing, within a year, my CRPS has spread from my right foot up my entire leg into my right arm. Um, uh, if you Google pictures of what CRPS looks like, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's like my foot swells up. It turn, it's like it's beet red. It's the most painful, actually, it's the most painful chronic disease in medical history right now. Um, which is why sometimes it's really hard for me to record. Um, sometimes, like, it, like I don't record for a couple weeks. A lot of times I have to spend my days, and you know what, this is going to be really hard for me to say, but, like, I'm in so much pain sometimes, like, that I literally have pissed the bed because I can't get out of bed on my own. I had to move um, five minutes closer to my parents' house. Like, I used to live in about 30 minutes from my parents. I had to move, like, I live, like, five minutes now. Um, because sometimes I need help getting dressed at 25 years old. Okay, like this is my life. I can't, I wasn't able to help teach my son how to ride a bike. I wasn't, I'm not able to do these things anymore. Like, um, uh, I ended up getting in, in an accident with my car because I couldn't step on the brake. So I stopped driving. Um, I can't, I can't do even the simplest things anymore so when you guys are like oh it's so easy it's really it's not like and you don't know everybody's story okay you don't um if you look up what crps is they call it the suicide disease because a lot of the times people end up killing themselves and i've actually had multiple suicide attempts from this because it's ruined my life like my life will never be normal again i'm actually they just put in through my workers comp insurance for a wheelchair like, you know what I mean? Like, you, there's a lot that you guys don't know about me. And there's, like, I'm not just this, like, loser addict who doesn't work who, like, I'm not, that's not me. Like, there's a lot that you don't know. But this is, November is CRPS Awareness Month. So I do suggest that, um, you know, maybe you guys do a little bit of research on it. Especially if you're that quick to say, like, to judge. You know what I mean? Like, um... And that's, that's kind of what gets me into, like, the video that I want to talk about today is, like, um, judging people and stuff like that and how I feel about this person. Um, but I did want to say first, get that out of the way, and I wanted to explain to you guys that, um, like, it's not... My my least the my house being clean is the least concern I have. You know what my biggest concern is is if the CRPS spreads to my organs and I die. That's my biggest concern. So please, like I know people are still gonna be dicks. I know you. I know it. YouTube is like the biggest place for people to be mean and stuff like that. So I, I know it's gonna come still, but at least now you guys know. Like at least now you know and you really understand. If I, like, I, I spend 90% of my day laying on my left side in my bed trying to sleep, like, if I even can. I just was on the phone with my doctor the other day, 
Um, the only option I have to even try and get rid of a little bit of the pain is uh, a spinal stimulator and I don't even qualify for that right now because I've been sick and they don't like it's just it's a it's a complicated story uh, and it's the whole thing is kind of complicated um, but anyways uh, you know what, I think I'm actually going to make this two separate videos. I'm going to make it two separate videos, so if I, anything I said about like the end, what I was going to say at the end of this video, it's just going to be in the following video, and I'm going to talk about this in this video. Um, but yeah, if you guys look up what CRPS is, it is, um, the pain of CRPS is comparable to um, untrained childbirth, or, like, imagine if somebody just came up to you and, like, chainsawed your leg off. That's what it feels like. You can look it up on the McGill Pain Scale on Google, um, or, like, any other research. Uh, right now there is no cure for it, and, um, you have to be very careful. Like, um, I, when I called my doctor yesterday, I know that they can't do the, the spinal simulator yet or the, the block shots, but I, I was crying and I was like, listen, all I want is for this to stop spreading at this point. Like, like, you know, it, it ended up spreading to my arm and I know that it did because I've had this in my foot for so long. I can't extend this arm all the way. Sometimes just touching my skin is extremely painful. Like, I spend a lot of the day crying, like, you know, so if my eyes are red or something and you guys say, oh, she's high, it's like, you, you know, you really don't understand um, a lot of the situation. But, uh, yeah, so it's it's been really difficult for the last, you know, like, ever, this, this happened um, in April of 2016, actually, so... Uh, I've been on workers comp right now. I only make like I make 284 a month is what I make on workers comp Which is not even enough to not even close to pay my rent like like thank God I have like my family and they help me and Stuff like that, but like you know so like and I know I had people in the past like when I made the patreon People were like, oh, she's just an addict. She can get a job like not I didn't really ever have a chance to talk about this stuff like um, the reason that my workers' comp was so low, and it is so low, is because they call it a partial disability because it's only a part of my body right now because it's spread from, you know, it's the whole right side of my body at this point. I have to go back and we'll see if things might change, but workers' comp is really difficult to deal with, and, um, they, they, it's, it's very difficult to deal with, with them, <laughs> um, and sometimes it's like, it's like you just want to put your head through a wall because you're not getting anywhere. It's sad uh, that they, you know, like I worked for this company for years. Um, I worked for them for like a couple years and then I left to go to school and then I came back for a couple more years. And, you know, it's not like I expected much from them. But the, the night that I got hurt, the following day, like my boss called and she was like, Oh, it was so funny. We replayed the camera like five times over and over again because it was hilarious. Like, and at the time, like, yeah, I mean, it was funny, but like, like they didn't know how severe it was at the time. I didn't either. And uh, because it didn't even require stitches, you know what I mean? Like, that's the crazy part is like, it can come from anything, any injury, like minor or big, it can just, it can come from anything. And, um, uh, yeah, so this has pretty much ruined my life. So when I get all these comments on here saying it's so easy to just clean your house, thank you for reminding me that it's not that easy. Thank you for reminding me that I can't do the simplest tasks. Thank you so much for that. You know, like, um, I know that I put myself out here, like, and that I can expect to get that hate, like, from people, but... Like, just remember that you're hating on somebody who has a disability. Like, a, a, a real disability. Um, this is something that's completely out of my control. Something that there's no medication for. Nothing. Like, there's, there's really, there's nothing that really can be done, and that's why so many people end up killing themselves. Because it's living in pain every single day. Uh, it's like a hundred times worse than fibromyalgia, osteoporosis, anything like that. And what happens, like, what's happened with my foot is... 
it starts, you lose your bone mass and your foot starts to turn in. My right foot, I'm not even gonna, like, honestly, it's really embarrassing for me. Um, I, it, like, I, I feel like I don't really need to show you guys, but, um, it's bent inwards and it, like, you can't, I can't use it. Like, and it sucks, it sucks. I remember, uh, being over the summer at my mom's house and, my mom and my dad running down the road with my son teaching him how to ride a bike and like I couldn't even be a part of that and dude, it sucks like it's it sucks so I don't even want I really don't want to start crying like I don't but like this this disease has ruined my life like it's literally ruined my life so please like you can still say whatever you want but at least now you know like now you know why maybe like you know and like like I can't I know people like I I did the best I could to have my furniture like covered and stuff for this video because like I do have hair dye like all over it and stuff like that um like I can't afford this stuff like I can't afford like just to buy another couch and stuff like that like I I live on my own I don't make shit and like I can't do side jobs or work under the table because like I'm freaking disabled like I can't even use 50% of my body it sucks like I I'm lucky right now that I have good friends in my life who help me every day they, they do but I don't even really want to talk about it anymore to be completely honest um but seeing as how people have been leaving a lot of hate and it is CRPS awareness month hold on a second um, seeing as how it is CRPS Awareness Month, I figured I would just, uh, let you guys know about my struggle with it. Um, you know, it's, it's, it sucks, and, like, on top of that and all that pain, I, I have Lyme disease, um, Epstein-Barr, hypothyroid, um, hypoglycemia. It's just, it's, it, it sucks. It makes life really hard to live, um really difficult and it sucks it's like you know if I want therapy like it's like can I get out of bed to even go and get therapy like I I want to go to my doctors to get fixed but am I gonna make it up the stairs today am I gonna make it some days I'm okay not okay but some days I can fight through the pain like if I take enough gabapentin which is sad to say but it's like it's not narcotic if I take enough gabapentin and like ibuprofen and naproxen and shit like that and if it's like early enough in the day where I haven't like started to like mess with my body yet I might be able to like stand for like if I put all my weight on my opposite foot then I might be able to stand for a little bit like you know how I made the video before and I was like kind of crouched down standing like if I can probably hold like a standing position for like a minute or two like maybe three before I start to like re like really not be able to um and it's gotten within within the last like two months it's gotten so much worse like so much worse like you, you wouldn't even imagine um so yeah um I just wanted to explain that to you guys so that you guys can like instead of just saying I'm like this dirt bag whose house is a mess or like you know, somebody said like that it was like mold on my couch. It's not mold. Like I have like a cigarette burn from somebody who was at my house before and this couch is like old as shit. And like I had like a uh, blue and green hair dye. But um, yeah. Alright, I gotta go. My camera's about to mess up. So I'll talk to you guys later. I love you guys so much. So bye.